you know, there's Christians that actually believe emotions are the result of the fall. And, and the idea is if we just think right, we can just push emotions away. But that's really not a, a biblical approach. We see emotions described throughout God's Word. They're given to us by God. They're designed by God. They're wired into every human being uh, from conception. And we see that emotional words are associated with God himself and with Jesus. So clearly emotions are not the result of the fall. They, they certainly have been affected by the fall. And emotions are one way to look at them is they are physiological experiences. They're neurological things. We can measure emotions now through functional MRIs and other machines and see activity in our brains that's associated with certain emotions. They have a physiological effect on our body. Our muscles can tighten up. Adrenaline can flood our system. Our heart can start beating faster. We can start breathing faster. So there's physiological implications to emotions. But the main thing that I, I think I try to help people understand is emotions are wired into us to move us. The, the word emotion actually comes from a Latin word which means to move. And so we see, for example, in the Bible where it talks about Jesus coming up out of the Sea of Galilee. He saw the crowds there who were hungry and without direction. And it said he has compassion on them and he was moved to feed them, moved to heal them, moved to teach them. And that's what emotions do. They move us to action, either for good, sometimes for bad.